so the next project soapway winner for wood grain is a a type of wood grain soap that I have never seen ever before. It's very very detailed. Two, a previous project soapway winner because of course she is when she's got skills like this. And C, all of the awesome within the footage. And it's a lot. It's a moment, and I love every bit of it. And I'm going to tell you more about all of those things in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. <laughs> How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week 30 of year three and Project Soapway Wood Grain Challenge and winner number two. And that winner is Huron Waters. And uh, yeah, as I said, Huron Waters, also known as Kelsey, has uh, won a Project Soapway Challenge before. And when you see her soap with this one, you're totally going to understand why she won this one. It is unbelievable she has five different layers a million scents and colors and she has multiple angles within her footage with the help of her camera guy i.e her husband and it was such a delight to see her footage because she they did an edit and put a lot of these angles together and made it you know some kind of way and then they were talking over the whole thing while they were, you know, filming and everything and just listening to them interact and like him getting frustrated at the camera because it was auto focusing weirdly. It was delightful. It was so cool across the board, such a team effort to produce these really, really incredible bars of soap. Kind of a lot because like I said, five different layers, five individual pores, a million scents, a million colors. So we should get to it and let's see if I manage to actually get all of that information to you. Okay, so this is a journey. This is the most amazing thing that I have seen from the Sudzers in such a long time because for the first time, we actually have a camera guy uh, assisting with the process, you know? So multiple angles with all of this and all of the, the wild and the fun. And there's so much that goes in to this whole bar because it is a five layer bar. So five individual pours that Kelsey did. And again, she had her hub husband doing this and was being her camera guy for everything. So it's super fun and I love everything about it. And we're going to try to get all of the information to you, you know, kind of as it goes. And so first up, the scents. She is working with three different scents that she has blended together. So I am fascinated by this. I actually want to smell this because it is... Fresh Cut Grass from Candle Science, Black Coral and Moss also from Candle Science, and Sandalwood from Sierra Candle. So this is delightful just across the board. Already super interested. Now, for this five-layer bar, we are working with, essentially she looked at three different types of wood and turned it into one soap, which I think is gorgeous. And from the thumbnail picture that you've seen, as well as what you will see at the end, it was definitely a payoff. Like there's a wood grain and then there's how about three different types of wood into, you know, one batch of soap. Amazing. So for her bottom layer and also her top layer, so layers one and five, they are beech wood layers. And so the color, like the base is going to be a neutral gray from Nurture. And then the first accent is a blackberry, also from Nurture. And the second accent is cocoa powder. And the third accent is Umbra from TKB. 
And so that's what we're going to be getting within, again, the first layer and the fifth layer. You see all the all the things that they had with all these different angles. And I tried to kind of splice them together in where they, you know, belong. So she's mixing up the blackberry now and all the jazz. Yeah. And so all the scent, the scent combination exists throughout all of it, throughout all five layers, but the colors end up different. And so this beechwood layer, so beautiful because the base is going to be this really beautiful grayish blue, right? And then just throwing in some like cracked kind of variations with the umbra and the cocoa powder is going to produce a darker, very lovely. I, I really do love this bar so incredibly much. So with her method here, it looks like she is doing what we saw from Twisted in that she is going to be layering her soap batter into her container, her pour spout, with the lines angling toward the actual pour spout itself and then pouring it in. So that's beautiful. Working on an angle is going to give her really beautiful variations within the colors all mixing together before she sets it down flat so she can then put her mica lines in between. Now I'm not actually sure if it's a mica line or a cocoa powder line with all of this. So you guys definitely make sure to check it out and, and watch for those moments, but doing this with essentially what she ultimately did was she took all of her, her oils, right? So her whole batch of oils. So say it was for this particular mold, I think it's going to be around 34, 34 to 36 ounces of oils in to fill up this particular size mold because I have this guy and I think that that's accurate. And then, so she, you know, obviously me measured and weighed all of those out. Just carefully putting it down. Oh, beautiful. And then she just separated the oils and the lye solution, weighed those out individually for each section. This particular first section is wider than, so essentially one, three, and five layers are the same height. And then your two and four layers, your purple heart layers, they're thinner. So she measured all this out. It's cocoa powder. Okay, that's been answered. Let's go to the next pour. Okay, now on to the second pour. And for this, again, this is the purple heart layer. And so the base color is going to be 50% amethyst from Crafter's Choice and 50% cocoa powder, which is going to create a really beautiful, like plummy type purple. Absolutely gorgeous. And then her accent, she has... Fire Cider from Nurture, Deep Green from TKB, and Dublin Green also from TKB. Same scent blend again with all of it. So we have the fresh cut grass, the black coral and moss, and the sandalwood. Again, that sounds like such a delightful combination. I would love to smell this. And actually, I'm going to go check out our website and see if these are available for purchase. Speaking of available for purchase... Since the last time we saw Kelsey, she's been busy, or maybe her husband has been busy because he does handle a lot of the photography and the you know tech stuff and all of that jazz for her, so maybe he's been helping out with that, but she properly has a website up and running now, which is beautiful and awesome, and when you you know Google Huron Waters, you're not going to go to like a Huron Waters project, like a government project and all of that. Now, so we definitely have to check out her website, everyone. She also has a new Twitter handle, so that's cool. All the information is obviously in the description and in the pinned comment and on the screen from time to time, but it's a very, very cool. She's been super busy, and I'm super proud of her for all of that. So also on the Instagram and I think the Facebook. I think she has a Facebook as well. But with this next layer, as I said, it's not as thick, as so it's not going to be as tall as layers one, three, and five. So two and four, they are smaller, which I think is a really cool idea because it really does provide very interesting definition. So I look at these uh, these finished soaps and I don't know, I get like a butcher block type vibe. I get really beautiful, high-end, expensive floors type vibe, just all of the vibes. And then of course, she's going to be putting her cocoa powder, you know, mica line in between each of the layers to really add some beautiful definition between each layer, which is 
everything that she has done with all of this, it's so thoughtful and so perfectly executed that it's just it's stunning. Okay, and on to pour number three. And for pour number three, this is going to be, from what I can tell, the same height in the total bar as layers, you know, one and five. And so this is her canary wood layer, which I've never heard of. Canary wood. I have no idea what that is. But the base color is the Sahara Gold from Nurture. Her accents are cocoa powder, the neutral gray from Nurture, and brick dust from Nurture. So we're not sharing a whole lot of colors throughout this entire thing. You know, she has a lot of different colors going on with all of this, which A, is sort of fun, right? Because you have a whole bunch of micas. Let's play with them and use them. But two, keeping track of it, my goodness, I... I hope that she has very good uh, record keeping and she must because she actually sent all this information to me in text form as well. So it's good. But the middle layer itself, that being that Sahara gold, is going to be a nice beigey, you know, beautiful gold type color of wood with the darker lines with your cocoa powder and whatnot. And she's really going to work hard to get a nice knot in all of this with this particular part of the pour which makes sense because it's essentially the middle of the bar. And so a knot, if you're going to have it anywhere, it's great to have it right there in the middle. It's like visually stunning with all of that. So let's see what she does with her knot action in this guy. And she's going to continue adding more colors as she goes. I love, I love this, the building of the colors to really change the variation and how the swirls ultimately end up within the mold itself. So smart. This is so beautiful. But this particular, you know, layer, just looking at it, in and of itself, just using this color combination just for a full batch of soap would also be incredibly stunning, especially since I am looking at her. All right, got your knot. All right. So she just does a couple little passes there. Okay, cool. Definitely pay attention to her knot in the final, you know, cuts with all of it because it's a very stunning one as well. And she's doing, yeah, maybe three three passes or so, really building that knot beautifully. 10 out of 10. I love this. This is so exciting. It's such a beautiful pour. And I'm just, I'm glad that she had her footage in such a way that I could really see every little bit of it. Because when I first saw this bar come through, I'm like, that's, I've never, this is something I've never seen before in a wood grain. And I have to know, you know, how this warlock was created. And you know, the, short answer to how it was created was it took a lot of time, like a lot, a lot of time and how carefully she's setting it back down on its bottom. So she doesn't lose any of the detail of any of her lines. It's just absolutely stunning. And I'm so proud of her that she also remembered to put in her mica line between every single layer. I always invariably forget at least one, but this would be the middle of the bar. And so then we are going to essentially repeat the pattern continuing on with the next two layers. So up next is going to be another layer of the purple heart and then followed by the beechwood layer. So we've got blue, purple, beige, purple, blue throughout it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go check out the next pour. Okay, and on to the fourth pour. And as I said, it is the purple heart layer. And so same height, same base colors. You have your amethyst, your cocoa powder, your fire cider, your deep green, and your Dublin green. So many different, like I said, 73 million different colors went into this. And the, the scent blend and everything. And I honestly think she nailed it with the purple heart. Purple heart is one of my favorite woods ever. Mr. Soap and Clay was obsessed, obsessed with Purple Heart and he got a sample for it at one point when we were living in one of our houses in uh, LA and he really wanted to do all of the floors in the house with that and I you know put the kibosh on it because it's incredibly expensive one and I was like let's wait until it's our forever home too but because of the aforementioned incredibly expensive it would have been a better idea to do it on you know a, a smaller house that we had at the time than attempting to do it now we will I will never stomach that price point but putting it on with the uh in a, in a soap it's it's fancy it's gorgeous it reminds me of things that I could never have purple heart floors stunning 
you know, because purple. But this is such a beautiful pour. Also, good, really smart of her to just be essentially doing this individually with the layers and letting everything set up really nicely. So just walk away from the pour, come back when you're ready to do the next one and it's firmed up underneath. So you're not having to work with soap batter that's getting really, really thick, really, really fast, considering the amount of detail that is going into each and every layer, you know? On to the fifth and final layer of this amazing soap. And between that, I actually went and checked out her website and holy crap, I love her product photography. It's so fun. They're definitely leaning into, you know, the, the idea of Huron waters and the fact that they are by a large body of water. I don't super understand the differences between the shore, the splash and the surf, you know, the, those collections. I'm not getting it, but all the products within it, it's very cute. I mean, she's got her whipped sugar soap scrubs. She's got beautiful soaps and her lip balms. And she also has these awesome lotion bars that are in these metal tins. Very cute. I love all of this for sure. But I'm not seeing this particular soap, which is a bummer because this scent blend itself makes me really want to have it in my hand. But I can't do that. But I do see that she was playing with this five layer bar kind of quite a bit based on her line. She's got at least four other bars that have this five layer design on it. And I love that for sure, because that suggests kind of what I was thinking when I first saw it. Like this is really cool. I like the overall composition of the bar and the differences between the layers and their widths or heights with all of it. And so this essential, you know, like, the actual structure of the soap itself, the finished product, could be used without doing a wood grain at all or just doing a wood grain in a couple of the layers and doing something else like solid colors or whatnot in between. Stunning, stunning. And her soaps are so stunning. Her website's so beautiful. I'm going to go buy some stuff regardless because, you know, I'm, I'm here and she has awesome stuff. But kind of bummed that this one isn't available, but I understand why it's not because it's absolutely gorgeous, and I guarantee this sold out as quickly as she could get it on the shelf. But this is her final layer here. She is going to, you know, finally be done with this monster of a pour, which is uh, fun to watch. But, you know, Kelsey, let us know. How, how long did this actually take you? I know the total footage that you sent through is like 50 minutes, but how much time was actually invested in this, you know? Okay, now onto the cut of these absolutely gorgeous bars. And look how beautiful and crisp all these lines are. This is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this so hard. So excited to see these cuts for sure. I'm also looking through all of the information that she sent through. And since the last time we saw her, uh, she actually started a YouTube channel. And that's amazing because you can actually go to her YouTube channel and see her process of making her apple soap, which was her, you know, first win over there while she explains it. And so she's talking about the different soap doughs and it being overly stiff and what she does to fix that while she's making these very detailed embeds for that particular soap. Do you guys remember the apple soap? Amazing. And so definitely go check her YouTube channel out as well. She has like six subscribers and I want to see many, many more subscribers at the end of this. You get to see essentially the uncut footage of her talking in her video that she sent to me that I, you know, talked over and cut down to different things. So she's going to provide even more explanation for you, which is amazing. And so she is looking at the lines on the sides of these and she doesn't super love them, right? Because she thinks that the there were drag marks because of the cocoa powder. But you can totally rinse that off after the fact, A. And two, it really doesn't matter because when the inside of your bars are going to look like this. It's absolute perfection. I, I can't. I, I really can't. Look at that. That is just stunning. You see the knots in the middle layer there too? Oh, and she's got some knots on the bottom layer. That's really fun. Not a ton of the sort of rounded thing that you tend to get at the end of the, the mold in that section. So that's not bad at all. But yeah, look at these these bars, I'm just, I'm, I'm just so blown away. She, she did such an amazing job with this. And it's 
everything that's beautiful in the world. This is like rustic soap art at its finest. And realistically, what it's doing is continuing to tie in her business and Huron Waters and, you know, again, being by a large body of water and everything into her line because she's got the Beechwood thing coming out and all the all of her photography on her website has like wood in it's gorgeous like they took it out to they take her products out to a beach and do the photography there it's absolutely stunning and <laughs> those bars are so amazing i i'm sorry i'm tickled pink do you guys can you tell it's it's ridiculous kelsey you did such an amazing job on these i mean 10 out of 10 and everybody again here on waters go support her on all the new socials go get her Go buy her some, go buy some soaps from her. Go do all the things. And everybody also obviously say, you know, Mr. Huron Waters, well done on all the footage and the filming and the edits and everything. This was absolutely stunning. And this is what it looks like, you know, a couple of days later while it's after it's been curing up outside in the natural light. Very beautiful. And obviously you've seen the thumbnail and everything. So you also know what the finished product ultimately ends up looking like. So yeah, 10 out of 10. I am wildly impressed, and I can never accomplish something this cool. And there it is, Kelsey of Huron Waters and her amazing wood grain soap. I love everything about this because it looks like, you know, hardwood flooring. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, with all the different layers. She had a purple heart layer in there. She had, like, a beach layer in there. Wild. And then the reversing the pattern to do the things and get all of these colors so much and then remembering to put the mica line between oh stop it it's so wild that is easily one of the coolest pours i've ever seen it just the whole piece together ends up looking absolutely stunning i don't know that i would use this for a wood grain coming up but i'm definitely filing this particular design and this idea away to create probably some of my winter themed bars because i have a cool idea on how we can you know turn that into that theme. So I'm very, very grateful that I got to see this process and see how the whole thing was made. All of the different colors and scents. I can't believe she was able to keep track of it all. Really incredible. And also 10 out of 10, like all the props for Kelsey's husband who was doing all the camera stuff. They ultimately had like three different angles going on at any given time. And the switching between all of them was so much fun. Granted, I'm not good at that stuff. So I probably just butchered all of the footage, and so for that, I super apologize. But it was a delight to play with, for sure. Kelsey, thank you so much for existing in the Sudzer community. You are one of our OGs. You've been around forever. You are so talented, so incredible. I am always just gobsmacked at your dedication to the craft, your knowledge base, all of the things. And yeah, you're definitely kicking some major booty and taking some names with all of this. Sudzers, you know the deal. Go do what you do best and go show Huron Waters all of the love. This is very impressive soap. It's incredibly just chef's kiss across the board. Amazing. I'm in love with all of it. And I really think that you all need to go, you know, tell her all the things that you love about it too, for sure. For this, I am out of here, though doing all the different angles and all the jazz, it kind of made my head hurt. It was a lot. And then I also dropped the thing for the Project Soapway, the, the two challenges coming up on you. And the second one is really making my head hurt. So I'm going to go and not have my head hurting for the rest of the day. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Obviously a huge thank you to the Sudzers for my people. You guys are incredible. All the things. I'm going to go, as I already said. The rest of you that watch the video and, you know, exist, hi, you exist. I can't do much about it. But thank you, and I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Project Soapway Wood Grain Soapy Fun. Bye. Okay, recording a thing. Got to do it. Fun, fun, fun. Somebody else notice that their ears are two different heights? No? Just me? Cool. Love to see it.